Conserve America, formerly known as Republicans for Environmental Protection (REP), is a national organization of United States Republican Party voters formed in 1995. REP's stated purpose is to strengthen the Republican Party's stance on environmental issues and support efforts to conserve natural resources and protect human and environmental health. Incorporated in Illinois, its headquarters are in Sturgis, Michigan. On March 30, 2012, Rep. President Rob Sisson and Chairwoman Tina Beatty announced that the organization would be changing its name to Conserve America. Conserve America had been the name of Rep. Sister 501 organization, that non-profit is now called the Conservatives for Responsible Stewardship. History REP was founded in 1995 by three women, Martha Marks, who at the time was a member of the Lake County, Illinois, Board of County Commissioners, Kim O'Keefe Wilkins, and Ori Krizuda. They met at an Endangered Species Conference in Chevy Chase, Maryland. As lifelong Republicans, they were concerned that the new Republican majority in the 104th Congress was seeking to weaken the Clean Water Act and other environmental laws. In April 2012, the group renamed itself, Conserve America a name that it said represented the inherent connection between conservation and conservatism. <laughs> mission Rep. stated mission is, "...Conserve America was founded under the name Republicans for Environmental Protection in 1995." Our mission is to educate the public and elected officials on conservative approaches to today's environmental, energy, and conservation challenges." Rep's slogan, "'Conservation is Conservative' is based on the traditional conservative philosophy of writers and thinkers such as British statesman Edmund Burke, President Theodore Roosevelt, and authors Russell Kirk, author of The Conservative Mind, From Burke to Eliot, and Richard Weaver, author of Ideas Have Consequences. REP argues in its literature that conservation and responsible environmental stewardship are core conservative values that necessarily extend from concepts such as prudence, personal responsibility, thrift and Burke's view that society is a partnership among past, present and future generations. Rep cites the conservation achievements of Republican leaders, including Abraham Lincoln's initial protection of Yosemite Valley and pioneering conservationist president, Theodore Roosevelt's establishment of national forests, monuments, parks, and wildlife refuges. Other Republican leaders often cited by Rep for their conservation records include Presidents Herbert Hoover, Dwight Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, and Ronald Reagan, Senators John Chaffee, William Roth and John McCain, Congressman John Saylor, and California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Topic issue advocacy Rep advocates for conservation and environmental protection on a wide variety of environment and energy-related issues. The organization favors retention of environmental laws that were adopted with bipartisan support, such as the Wilderness Act, Clean Air Act, Clean Water Act, Endangered Species Act, the National Environmental Policy Act and the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. In 2005, REP worked to block efforts to open the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil drilling. REP helped organize a group of Republican House members to oppose an attempt to include drilling authorization in budget legislation that would be immune from filibuster in the Senate. William H. Meadows, president of the Wilderness Society, noted, There are many organizations, national, regional, local, that have worked diligently to protect the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for decades, but the most important organization in the campaign this year has been REP. In recent years, Conserve America has focused heavily on energy and climate issues. REP advocates for reduced U.S. dependence on oil and other fossil fuels through more energy efficiency, and more use of renewable and nuclear energy. Conserve America's environmental policy positions are covered in the organization's website under the Issues tab and detailed in a variety of Conserve America policy papers. <laughs> Political activity Rep endorses Republican candidates that the organization believes generally share its positions on environmental issues. Rep made endorsements in 2006, 2008, and 2010. In 2000 and in 2008, Rep endorsed Senator John McCain for president. 
Rep advised the McCain campaign on climate change mitigation. Rep did not endorse George W. Bush in 2000 or 2004, and publicly opposed the 2001 nomination of Gail Norton as Secretary of the Interior. Rep has an affiliated political action committee called Rep PAC and an independent 527 group called the Rep Conservation Fund. Both work to elect or defend Republicans who have what Rep calls strong environmental credentials. <laughs> 